Hello everyone, hello. I'm glad you can join me for this week's leadership success tip. I'm gonna be very brief. I just wanted to share with you for a couple of minutes. You know, this week I really had something that I wanted to share, um, but I'm gonna save that for next week because in light of where we are and how the U.S. is still waiting for the results of the election, I wanted to talk about just, I wanted to just encourage everyone in a leadership position. I want to tell you, you are going to be okay. Not okay in the sense of things not working out or something to that nature, but you are actually really going to be okay. And you're going to be better than okay. You're going to thrive. Your business is going to thrive. Your team is going to thrive. Your organization is going to thrive. You are going to thrive as a leader. Why? Because I do not believe as leaders that you are going to just barely make it. You are going to be successful because you have vision, you have grit. Now, right now, you might feel a little anxious, might feel a little concerned about who is going to win the election. Because as of right now, there are about five or six states that are are waiting to, to tally and the race is very close between you know, Donald Trump and Joe Biden. So we're trying to see who's going to win because each one has a different leadership style. Each one has a different perspective on the economy and on business. And that perspective and leadership style will ultimately affect you and how you're able to do business. So I know a lot of people are concerned. Now, I'm remaining neutral on this broadcast simply because I'm not going to tell you who to vote for and who not to. That's not the point of this. But I want you to look soberly at what's going on from a sense of not despair, but a sense of looking for the opportunities. If Joe Biden wins, what are the opportunities that you can take advantage of based on his perspective on business and on the economy? And if Donald Trump wins, what opportunities can you take advantage of based upon his perspective on business and the economy? So either way, there's going to be an adjustment, but I want you to see them through the eyes of opportunity. Because what I want you to understand, regardless of who wins the presidency in the United States, you're going to have to adjust. And regardless of who wins, the leader that is the most influential to your team and to the people you lead is you. So, and I'll say it again, you are the most influential leader and source of stability for the people that you have contact with for your team, your employees, and the people your business or organization serves. It is not the president, it's you. And so I'm gonna give you three things you can think about in order to make sure that you are going to be okay and not just barely make it, but be successful. Here it is, number one, don't believe narratives. Everyone has their own way of reporting the facts. Everyone has their own opinion that they insert into the facts. So don't take everything at face value. So what you want to do is investigate, look at all angles and at all the different sides and make your own decision. And so number two, as you investigate, look at the information from place soberly. You know, don't try to allow yourself to have an opinion just yet. Just ponder it. Just think on it. Allow yourself to really get a sense of what's being said behind and underneath what's being said. You have to, and I'm going to use a term that's frequently used in the faith arena, you have to discern what's really going on beyond what's going on in the surface. Because as a leader, you will see things even in your own business that are surface level, and you have to be able to tell what's really going on. So I encourage you to even do that as you look at what's going on in society, in the culture around you, as you prepare to adapt, adjust, and pivot your business and your strategy. Then the last thing is, I already said it earlier, but it bears repeating again. You are the most impactful leader that your team, your organization, your business, and your customers will see, as well as the other leaders around you. So remember that. So regardless of who's president, you are the one that your team is looking to for st stable leadership and to be a leader of character. 
All right, so that's it this week. I wanted to just encourage you, do not panic. Do not be anxious. You will be successful and so are your business. You just have to stay in a place of peace and you just adjust when to whoever's in the office and control the part that you can control, manage the part that you can manage, which is your own response, your own thoughts, and your own words. All right, so that's it for this week. Be successful and remember to lead like a champion.